boys and girls, today we're going to use repeated subtraction in a number line or multiplication tables to divide by 10. Okay, let's please read the story. There are 50 students going on a field trip to the Philadelphia Zoo. The students are separated into equal groups of 10 students. How many groups what are we trying to find, everybody? How many groups of students are there? Make sure you have your name on your paper as well, please. I'll see them writing that. Okay, boys and girls, now we need to circle the number that we need to use. Uh, the numbers we need to use. So what was what's one of the first numbers, Jacob? Fifty. Fifty. And what's the second number, Cooper? Ten. Ten. What do you think the multiplication or the multiplication? What division problems do you think we're going to be writing? Simon? 50 divided by 10 equals... And then we will find the answer, okay? Mm -hmm. Okay, good. Okay, their, um, their first question for you to figure this out is by using repeated subtraction, where you start with 50 and you subtract 10 until you get to 0. So they start out, 50 subtract 10 equals... 40. And then they put 40 on top, 40 subtract 10 equals... 30. 30 subtract 10 equals 20. Okay, write that down. 20 subtract 10 equals 10. And 10 subtract 10 equals 0. Okay, so like I said, we are subtracting until we get to 0. And then we cannot subtract anymore because you can't take away from 0. Okay, count the number of times you subtracted by 10. How many times did you subtract? Five times. You subtracted ten five times. So fifty divided by ten has to be five. Five. So how many groups of students or how many groups of ten students were there? Five. Five. Okay, another way that we could have found this exact same answer is by doing a number line. And um you're still subtracting. Remember we talked about this um on our test? You're still subtracting when you're doing uh, a number line, okay? These two ways are alike because you are subtracting, okay? The only difference is you don't actually go minus and how many. You actually jump backwards, which is subtracting. So you have to start at 50 and jump backwards 10, which would be 40. Subtract, uh, jump back 10 more, which would be? 30. So jump back 10 more, which would be? 20. 10 more would be? 10. And 10 more would be? 0. Okay. And how many jumps did we have, guys? 5. 5. 5 jumps. So 50 divided by 10 is? 5. 5. All right, next page.
Now what you need, what you would do is you would go step one, find the factor ten at the top row. So up here, see factor ten? Yes. Okay. Look down that row until you get to fifty. They have it in green, so they're they're helping you out. Okay. Fifty is in green. Now, once you get down to 50, go all the way across, which is the blue line, all the way across. And what number is at the end there? Five. Five. So, look at um, the, the number that's the unknown factor would be five. Because five times 10 equals 50. So, 50 divided by 10 equals five. Five times 10 equals 50. So then 50 divided by 10 has to be 5 because they are related facts, right? Yes. Okay. Let's read this little problem here. In step 1, is the divisor or the dividend the given factor in the related uh, multiplication factor? So this is, if this is our problem, 50 divided by 10, the divise, is it the divisor or the dividend? Is 10... The divisor or the dividend? Dividend. Over here. Dividend. The number that will be, that is to be divided in a division problem. Yeah. It's your big number is the dividend. Is 10 the big number? No. No. So what is this? Divisor. Divisor. 10 is the divisor. Okay, then in step 2, you look down to find the product 50. In step 2, is the divisor or the dividends a product? So, 50. Is that the divisor or the dividend? Dividend. The dividend. And the quotient is the unknown factor. So 5 was the quotient, which is the unknown factor. Okay? All right, now you guys get to work together to find your division problems with 10. Okay, boys and girls, number 30. Read the story problem, please. I want to add penguins to the picture graph. There are 30 stickers of penguins. How many symbols should I draw of penguins? So look at this problem, or look at this graph. Listen. Look at the graph. <coughs> Is penguins on there? No. no. Okay, he wants to add penguins to it. So he wants to put penguins, you know, down here or something. You can't really read what I just wrote, but it says penguins. Okay? Now, penguins has 30 stickers. But look, this is a graph, and this is a picture graph, where pictures stand for a certain amount of numbers. What does the picture stand for, the stamp picture? 10. So how many stamp pictures would you have to make 30? No, 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 don't say out loud. Write it answer down. How many symbols should Lyle draw? You write the answer down and make sure you have a label. I wrote the numbers beside the pictures. Pose a problem. Write a word problem using information from the picture graph, then solve your problem. So, elephants, giraffes, and monkeys, what would you like to say about them, or what kind of problem would you like to write? No, 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 about the, the stickers. Um, Elephants, giraffes, monkeys, about the stickers. They have 35 Well, you're not, you're not making anything up. You are using the information. I you like, don't like oh, what? Monkeys have 40, um, do you think? Wait, 
you're not making a problem up. You're using this information to make a word problem. Oh, Howie. Um, oh, Kim wants to put ten monkey stickers on a sheet of paper. Okay, you're kind of giving us too much information. Okay, so who would like to see the pro uh, problem now? Aubrey? That doesn't make sense. How many giraffe stickers did elephants have more? That doesn't make sense. How can you say that differently? Okay, what's the problem? How many animal stickers are there all together? Okay, so how many stickers do elephants have, boys and girls? 35. 35. So you do 35 plus how many do giraffes have? 25. 25 plus how many do monkeys have? 40. 40. So we need to add these together. 35, 25, and 40. 5 plus 5 is what? Okay, four plus four is what? Add two more, which is ten. So, how many stickers all together? One hundred stickers. Okay, boys and girls, number thirty-two. Sense or nonsense? Lena wants to put the monkey stickers in an album. She says she will use more pages if she puts five stickers on a page instead of ten stickers on a page. Is she correct? Explain. Okay, how many stickers does she have, guys? Four elephants? Or no, monkey. Sorry. Okay, will she have more stickers on a page if she only puts five stickers on each page? Or will she have uh, more stickers on a page? Or she, will she use more pages if she uses five, or will she uses more pages if she puts ten on each page? Okay, so let's do, let's do, okay, she made ten on a page. So that, here's one page, and we're going to put ten. And then we'll have to do another page, right? And then we'll have to do another page. How much is this? <coughs> 30. And then we'll have to do another page. Okay. So putting 10 on each page, that's how many pages? 40. No. How many pages, I said? Four. Four. Now let's do it if she puts five on a page. There's five. Ten. 15, 20, 25, 30, 40, or 35, 40. So will she use more pages if she puts 10 on a page, or will she use more pages if she only puts 5 on a page? Five. Five on a page. Now, how many pages did she use if they only put if she only put five stickers on each page? Eight. Eight pages. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. 
I thought 